Hi guys, welcome to your bi-weeklies and just give me a minute to a minute and a half for just a quick intro. First of all, I want to thank you Feedspot for basically giving Cat Terra such a great honor. Being in top 50 on the entire basically uh, YouTube is like absolutely stunning. It is amazing. And thank you, thank you, thank you. So I really appreciate it. However, I actually should thank more to all of you, my users, because without you, this just wouldn't happen. So it really kind of like makes me feel great. And I, again, want to thank you for... I actually want to uh, invite you to join my Facebook pages if you haven't already. Uh, I actually am considering to post some different readings on that platform as you know otherwise people say it's not good to put all eggs in one basket so it's going to be a free reading contest for all of you who join and also for all of you who already joined who are actually sharing the content so there is some kind of incentive i just want to spend a few more words just to let you know that you know how this really works this is only me and i am doing all this video so if you just do the count they're like 36 videos so multiply this by four and the time that is being spent on these videos and you will see how much time I actually donate to you every month. If you calculate, it's going to be about 60 hours. So I am not asking for any accolades or anything. I'm just telling you this is like the time that is basically taken away from my family, from my friends and mostly from me. And I also need some time off for myself as I'm just a human, just as everybody else. And I'm leaving the best for the end, right? So again, for all of your supporters, for all of you who are my clients, for all of you who are sending me private emails and of encouragement, of warm wishes, I cannot tell you how appreciated that is. That actually means a lot to me. And each comment left on a website is also very meaningful. In spite of all these hours, I still every day spend time reading it and each time I bookmark with my cat, like if after reading the comment. So thank you very much. And without further ado, let's jump right into your bye week, please. Hello my birthday Virgos, this is your bi-weekly from the 1st to the 15th, so let's take a look. Wow, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is signifying travel, it's signifying motion, it's signifying uh, exchanges, lots of communication might be happening around this time. Um, resolutions, it is a number eight. Number eight always talks about, you know, getting things together. So it's not only the first deck on the house, but the second one. So you're kind of building upon some kind of foundations that have been done. Um, this also could be arrows of love, kind of like receipt. You see, this is kind of like really good position to be in. So let's see. Five of Swords. It's a victory without a victory. Somebody feels satisfied about their own actions, even though I see there are other parties to it that kind of are maybe hurting. Or it's not realizing. Sometimes we hurt others without realizing uh, that our actions probably impacted us. It's it's simply not a good situation because while one person is thinking, oh, well, you know, I got ahead, um, they're like people who will eventually kind of like feel uh, very reactive to that situation. So you have to ask yourself, which one are you? Are you this one kind of like having these illusions of kind of like winning? Or are you the ones that maybe recently something happened that somebody up you one and or that you're in a situation, maybe there are three people uh, where kind of like it felt like somebody won. And remember, in a relationship, there is like no win or lose because a relationship is always a balancing act. This is crossed with King of Chalices. This is my favorite king. And I know there's lots of sun, so I'm grateful <laughs> for this because it's not too hot outside. But if you hear the airplanes, that's not because I'm in a war zone. That's because we have the air show today. Well, King of Chalices or King of Pentacles is my favorite king. And this is the person who is like so nice and giving. You know, like when, when you feel like you really have a hard day and somebody really listens to you, but not only listened to basically for you, 
to be a soundboard, but you really feel empathy for this person. You feel how your pressure dissipates, you feel understood, and most importantly, you feel loved. So it could be that somebody like that is actually showing up, knocking on your door. There are some goals. Three of Wands talks about goals and talks about possibly new directions, but it is reversed. So now I'm starting to think that kind of could have been a third person around because I'm already having a two, and hence certain things are just not workable. Look, it's kind of funny because this is also a travel card, and you had a travel card. This one is like way more important, but it has been reversed. And this is kind of like feeling stuck. I think Gemini had this card as the outcome, but they had it in the upright situation. You have it placed in your past. It's already something that maybe uh, has been happening that kind of like was a situation that has been dwelled on and it's maybe still ongoing. This means feeling stuck. This means still facing issues, um, even to the extent that those issues are maybe your demons even to the fact that maybe you felt you really work very hard and it feels like you're like just stopping in a spot, right, to get this. Because generally this is a card of the victory of the winner and it's really, really something that works really, really fast. But it kind of like maybe you felt held back in uh, to some extent. What's crowning you? Hmm, Ace of Cups reversed. The promise of something, you feel it's not there you want and you kind of like wish to have this relationship or this love to pour out but somehow you feel you're feeling this opportunity can be missed and you see this is that central trajectory that i'm seeing here which talks about that it talks about like the third person third person and kind of like not happening and feeling stuck and this could be the person that you were targeting this beautiful king of cups some somebody who you perceived like i mean so important you have lots of cups, guys, for the earth sign. Look at this, cups, cups, cups. And this is a water, basically, as well. So the four of cups, or four of chalices, basically talks about, uh, about not being able to make your mind up. Kind of, the offers are here. Various offers will be given to you, even the one that they will think they're really spicing up the deal. But you just right now in a situation that you want you don't want to do it so this is a card that always asks and calls for balance asking you guys you have to figure out if you're too picky and you're just rejecting anything that comes out and if you are too picky then why are you finding yourself uh, in a situation like that that like i mean all the wrong choices are coming to you right or or if you're waiting out for the right one then why all these choices are not good so you see you have to kind of find it's a fine line and it's like not either or question so i'm asking you what was the choice lately you had or where are you striving do you really want this person right and maybe this person said, these are my limitations, I can do A, B, C. And then that was not good or acceptable. Maybe there is somebody who is with somebody else or, you know, like where there are issues with how to proceed forward. And maybe the person is saying, well, I can do A, B, C, D. Or you are saying to them, these are my uh, values. This is what I need for me to feel whole. And it looks like either, either way, somebody is getting to the point of saying, okay, this is something extra, let's see, I'll push myself into this, and even that is rejected. So you kind of like have to understand that maybe this is reaching the limits of it, right? How do you feel? Again, feeling stuck into something, right? Look at this, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, you feel that somehow you're being put to test. Wow, and Queen of Pentacles. This is a card of a wife or a spouse, and this is in your environment. So, this is you guys, of course. This tells now, it started telling me a story that it was about somebody that either was somebody you're eyeing or wanting, and this is more or less talking to those of you who are currently either broken up or you're looking for somebody who you are like almost glorifying or you want this perfect person and to have all these qualities 
and yet this person is not appearing because possibly the person just cannot exist. So this is just telling me about a couple that is not a couple but is very present to each other's minds and it's some kind of test going on with hope that things are going to so wonderfully work out. Yeah, it's absolutely a third party person. And uh, there is like uh, a pity party and you most likely feel wronged. You probably feel rejected. You feel because you see, this is right next to this card that your needs are not met. This is like a mental torment because look at this, you have three and three and then you have it here as well. And however, you guys are emerging. This is talking about a partial success, success, pardon me. You see, it's a number two, right? So here was like a relationship that is not going to lift off. And it's not going to lift off for several factors. It's not going to lift off because it just cannot lift off. This other person cannot give you what you want or you cannot give them what they need. So you have to figure out is like what is what you want, can you get by with less? And if this less is going to become what you want. It is sort of like play on words, but it's simply asking, okay, we don't have a stake right now. Sorry, ma'am, sorry, mister. But we do have a very popular hamburger. So this is a question. Can you take a hamburger or you're going to walk away? However, this is getting a little bit more complicated because it seems to me that there is like not a workable situation because uh, it is somebody else involved. And this is telling me, however, they're going to have some kind of success toward reaching some conclusion. And, and this is a partial success. Two and ones does talk about the choice, but choice is kind of like being reviewed with something old and something new. But this is like not the final destination because the goals are still not established. So let's clarify this with my gypsy oracle cards here. The horoscope signs I see, as I told you, I see lots of water and it's kind of hard to say because there'll be lots of emotions, but there's definitely a Capricorn and earth signs. And I see Cancer, I see Pisces from, from the major signs. So forget the signs, just think about the earth and water energy, right? Because water nourishes earth. So you actually in this period will actually probably look for lots of nourishment and you have, you see in the core of you, you have swords and here you have the swords. Swords are difficult for you Virgos. You kind of really do well when it comes to um, enjoying very earthly things, kind of taking care of your home, taking care of your loved ones, um, doing anything with your hands. Uh, enjoying any bounty that you can find anywhere on the earth, jewelry, um, vine, food, dancing, really like where you can feel the ground literally. This is like where your forte is. So if somebody's asking you to fly to the moon to experience the same joy, you probably will raise both of your eyebrows. It's <laughs> not my cup of a tea. And this is what with this is like what is happening in your head, which means that you kind of like feel sometimes tormented with the thoughts and it's kind of hard to stop them. So this is asking of you to kind of ground yourself and this kind of situation is somehow a test for you. So since you actually have only major one major arcana, so this major obstacle either has been overcome, kind of like going in different directions and understanding, or this is like just continu continuation of it. And it's going to reach sort of like a partial success toward the 15th, like almost like an almost close to the 15th. I want to see this three of swords. Honestly, let's go first for the negative, And I'm sure you want to know about it. Oh, thief. Somebody either stole your heart and harm you, or you stole somebody else's heart, or somebody stole your partner. Let's see one more for that one. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is the second card that came out. So you have a thief. Then you have Lord. So the guy is who is married or who is kind of hard to approach. Looks like he's maybe reuniting, maybe with you or maybe with somebody else. It's really hard to say because this is that hardness. You see, the butterfly is supposed to fly up. So if it's going down, that you know the butterfly that kind of flies down, most likely gets stepped on, and this is the end of their real short life. This, however, can be seen differently, right? So somebody may have intruded on your relationship, right? For uh, for those of you guys, it could be that you kind of stepped out and harmed somebody else, and then you'll try to win somebody else over. For ladies, this could mean that somebody messed with your partner. Maybe, so literally this can be seen both ways, right? The, your partner reunion, who he's reuniting with when we have three people. So it's the question, which one is it, right? But it looks like, given this last outcome, that some kind of workable situation will be reached. Look at these two cards, we're also out. So see, constancy and sorrow. So sorrow is the same thing, the turmoil over the thoughts. And it's easier said than done, but literally, stop it. Just go and do something in a garden. Go and take a walk outside. This is where your ground kicks in. Remember like how you avoid electrical and thunder attack by grounding yourself? This is literally what you're asked to do spiritually at this stage. And I also want to see that two of ones. You have a foe. So that could be a rival, guys. Okay, so that could be on one side of that decision. Let's see another one. Wedding. So, okay, it's still hard for me to say. One more for the steel ones. Four Virgos. Conversation. Okay. I think what's going to happen here is the following. This foe could be you as well, but it most likely is a rival. It's a rival for the relationship, which is called here wedding. And it's going to be a really conversation about how to make it work. And it's going to be a good and productive conversation because as you can see, this is talk among people that a person feels really comfortable with, right? And, you know, as I said, this conversation can actually help to propel this further. But the key here, guys, is like that you ground yourself. Do not do not try to be seductive because that's what Queen of Pentacles Reverse does. She is trying to lure people with her beauty because she's actually very beautiful and she's very even seductive. But ultimately, she has to be Queen of Pentacles upright, and we are talking about somebody mm, domestic, somebody so nice, somebody very resourceful, somebody who is really like, I mean, firm base ground of the community that other, let's say, mothers and other people, your neighbors always look up to. And this is basically who you generally are, detail-oriented person. So right now, this is an environment which could mean that the third person and maybe this third person is luring um, the partner or maybe that's your competitor, just like this could be this card foe showing up there. Oh yeah, you see again, somebody is stressing out their beauty here. So I wonder if there is a lure with somebody being skin deep that generally doesn't last. Yeah, of course they can damage the relationship, but then if it was that easy, you have to count your blessings. It was just never meant to be, right? And I just want to see quickly this test. And you're getting extra long reading because it is your birthday. Yeah, you feel, um, uh, you feel loss. You feel almost that you didn't only uh, lose friendship. You didn't feel that you only lost a partner, but you felt really connected to this person. You actually you see friend and lovers are two different qualities. So you maybe like this person truly for who they are, or maybe you thought of them to more than they are. So because the friend is here reversed. However, 
it's already the fourth, and I'm sorry for being late catching up over my uh, long uh, weekend. And you guys did get your monthly so so look it up. It's kind of good. So it's just talking to you about vanity and don't pay attention if somebody's trying to seduce somebody. Pfft, just let go because ultimately you are actually pushing through. So emotions are good. Water is good with earth. It nourishes the earth. The air and trying to find fast solutions or trying to torment yourself, it's its not going to work for you this time around. So the best is literally, if you need to cry over it, cry it. But I would really say distract yourself. The ground is really, really important for these two weeks. So let me know what you think, guys, and you know how the situation was remedied. Also, if you are not a subscriber, I do appreciate if you just kind of like click on the button below uh, for the private reading. You can contact me via my website, cattero.ca. Don't forget to check your monthly as well. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to provide you with the link to it if you have not already seen it. All the best, guys. Love you all and have a great two weeks.